Welcome back to the Challenge Russian Gamer. Now today I wanted to do a quick kind of tip video because a lot of people are confused as to how it is that someone gets placed into Master League. It's a really tough thing for a lot of people that are playing League Play right now because it does get kind of harder but it's not actually getting harder. This is the concept behind it. So the actual math behind the game and how it figures and how it spreads out the people between the league. So we have bronze, silver, no we have iron, bronze, silver, gold, platinum and master. We have those six leagues and we have 100% of people playing it in total. And so the way the percents are divided is bottom 20 are iron, next 20 are bronze, next 20 are silver, next 20 are gold, next 18 are platinum and next 2% are master. So only 2% out of all the people that play league play can actually get placed into master. And that's how the game decides. That's why uh, the game has this thing where nobody gets placed into Master League with those five placement games. It puts everyone into Platinum and lower. And then the first people that are playing out of all the people that have already been placed, the top 2% with their first win, then get placed into Masters League. So that's how it works. And then after that, the only way to get put into Master League is for more people to keep getting placed because as long as those 2% are set and no one else ever plays League Play, it's impossible for you to get promoted. You will It will never happen because that number 2% will always stay there and it always depends on whether you win that last game and whether you're good enough to be placed into those 2%. This is why it's very crucial. Uh, the two tips I'm going to give you uh, at the end of this video to get into Masters League, it's really crucial to follow those two steps. Now, so the math behind it is, is at a, uh, I'm going to take a random point in time. There's about 500,000 people online for PS3, and then out of those 500,000, I guess about 7,000 of them are playing League Play. That's what it usually says in the Championship Series, at least. And uh, Mosh Pit's actually not very much played. It's like 1,000 at most sometimes, so... Uh, yeah, so Champions League, 7,000 of the 500,000 people. Now, since you have only the top 2% that are getting placed into Masters, out of those 7,000 people at a time, only 140 of them are Master. So most of the people, even a full division, isn't being played completely. So only possibly maybe maximum, I don't know, 15 to 20 Masters per division are playing at a time. Because you're not going to have... Uh, you're gonna have so many people by the end of the season that are below the top 100 that literally have one win, 100 points, and they're placed into Master and they stay there for a full month. This is why, even though there's only 140 people playing Masters at the same time, there's possibly around 2,000 in total. So, technically speaking, out of the um, the 7,000 people don't really represent the true number of people that have played League Play. It's something more along the lines of 50,000 people that have tried and that have been placed, except only 7,000 of them are playing at a single point in time. So maybe 140 Masters are playing at a time and maybe there's 2,000 in total. That's basically the number that is kind of being looked at. Because if you go to core, 500,000 people are playing, but yet you always have, if you go to leaderboards, you have something like 20 million people that are ranked because at least 20 million people or 30 or it, there's a huge number of people that are ranked a very small fraction of them is actually playing at a time and so the same thing applies to league play and so the way you get into masters you become basically the top 2000 in the world at the game the problem is you have to be playing and you have to win that's when the game decides that you're good enough and so uh, that's that's technically the math behind it. I'm a consistent platinum player. I get placed into platinum because um, after after spending a season in platinum, the game automatically places you either you have to play like absolute crap to be placed anything below platinum if you spend a full season there. Like I didn't have that great of placement games, but I still get put into platinum and I still am a top ten platinum because I at least play the game and I'm I'm good. Now, Platinum, I think, is like the baseline for people that play a league. Anything below Platinum, you basically either don't try, or you don't play all the time, or you're just not that great. Platinum is like the average league player. Master is the better of them. And technically speaking, if you just take the Platinum Master 20%, only the top 2% actually make it into Master. The problem with this is, is when you have that skill-based matchmaking, this is why out of the 5,000 people that are playing at a time, you can only get matched up with a, a, a very small percentage of them. And if you're a Master or Platinum, chances are 
you're only going to get placed with other masters or platinums. So out of those 5,000 people, the 20% of that 5,000 is uh, 4 is 1,000 of those people that are playing. So you only have out of the 5,000, you only have 1,000 people that you can possibly get placed with. And so very rarely you'll ever get that thing where you're a platinum and everyone in the lobby is an iron. You might have that at the beginning of the season, but later in the season when there's more platinums to match you with, then you're basically not going to get any lobbies like this. And so that's that's practically the, um, the whole concept. That's why it's so difficult to originally get placed into master because there's very little masters that you have way more chances of getting placed there if you're actually playing closer to the end of the season and you're winning most of your games and you're at the top of your division. The, I'm only going to say that maybe the top five people are ever going to get promotions. That's why my two tips for you isn't really... There's all these videos that are saying you have to get this number of wins, you have to get this number of losses, and then that way you're gold, you're going to get promoted no matter what, 100%. No. You have to get... You have to play consistently. It'll only promote you after a win. And you have to be at the top of your division. You have to be in the top five, hopefully one or two. I only got promoted to Masters the one time I did it. I did it on an account that I don't play on anymore. And I did it, I think, when I was ranked two or three platinum. And it finally promoted me into Master. And so on that account, my uh, my league best is like Master rank 50. And on this one, it's like platinum 22 because I didn't play all month last month. And that was my first month actually playing on the account. So that's basically all the things that I really have to say. Like the way the mathematics work behind the way people are separated into leagues. And that's uh, all I really have to say. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys later and goodbye.